So I made my one week after review on the LG V60 after getting Android 13, in which I called out 10 new features or enhancements, good and bad. But there was one feature that has a lot of people confused, and that's the magic eraser that I received on Android 13 on my LG V60. So I got some thoughts about it. I got some thoughts about what's going on with this build here. Some people have it, some people don't. Let's talk about it. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. So smartphones are very expensive. Look like every year the prices is going up, but here's something you could do right now to save some money. Switch to Mint Mobile, who I'm partnered with with today's video. Listen, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service for as low as $15 a month. And you know what? You don't have to sacrifice coverage, speed, or data. They're built on the largest 5G network. So why should you pay more? where you could pay less to have access to the same network. One of the good things about Mint Mobile is that you can keep your current device in your current number. So use my link down in the description below to get that premium wireless service starting at $15 a month. I wanna give a huge thanks to Mint Mobile for partnering with me in this video. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. I got my LG V60 here, Android 13, T-Mobile variant. Uh, as of me recording this video, the Verizon and the AT&T and other uh, brands don't have the update yet, but I do have my T-Mobile with a T-Mobile SIM in that has Android 13. But when I received Android 13, I have got, I found a feature that's called Magic Eraser. Now that feature is on, you know, Pixel devices and some devices have it, some devices don't have it but it's apparent here. So some of the confusion and some of the questions that people have is that why my device don't have that? Are they asking me questions? Am I using the native uh, gallery app on, on my LG V60? So here on my LG V60, I got both of the apps, right? This is the native LG app and this is uh, the photos app from Google. This is the Google's photo app. And I believe pretty much everybody has that app on a device. So let me go to and open up the native camera app. And when I open up my native camera app, here's what I saw. Let's go back here. Okay. Let's go to my native camera app. And these are all the photos and videos that I took on my YouTube channel. Now to make that demonstration on Magic Eraser, I took a photo of my vehicle with something on top of my vehicle. As you can see, I got something on top of my vehicle. Well, again, I discovered that I had what's called Magic Eraser. So what I did was I click here on the edit icon. And here, this was the enhancements that I found as soon as I hit the edit icon. Uh, on Android 13 on my native app. All right, so uh, as I go here, I got what's called tools. Now I've demonstrated the device I had with Android 12 that didn't have it, but Android 13 has it. So here it is, right? Magic Eraser. So if I click on Magic Eraser, what's gonna do is it's, you know, taking the image itself and uh, ready for me to, you know, scribble out which item that I don't want in the shot. And here it has erase or camouflage. Now, if I hit camouflage, it's just gonna make the item transparent. But if I hit erase and then I take the item and I just kind of scribble on it here and let it go, the whole object is gone. So why everybody didn't get this software? Uh, as you can see on Magic Eraser, it's all gone. So let's go back, now the item is back. Now if I hit camouflage uh, and I take that item and I scribble on it again, what it's gonna do is it's gonna make it transparent. See that? It's still there, but it's kind of a transparent look right now. So that's camouflage. So let me open up the Google Photo app here, right? So this is the Google Photo app. And as you can see, it's a totally different layout. Uh, so let me see if I can find that same object here in my library. Bam, here we go. Again, 
The Google Photo apps is a totally different layout, mm. but I'm going to click on that same object. And again, it's a total layout, but total different layout. So let's go to hit edit. And I think this is the part where I think LG pull this information from the Google's app to the native camera app. All right, so look, check this out, right? It's the same layout. Now on the Google camera app, you have blur, you have magic eraser, then you have sky. And if I hit magic eraser, it's going to give me the same two options. It's going to give me erase and camouflage. Now, I don't know if uh, Android 13 took that software, well, parts of the Google app software and ported it over to the native software app uh, from LG. I don't know, but this is the same layout once you get into this part. Pretty interesting. Now, a lot of you guys asked the question, why my device don't have that? What's going on? Why some people have Magic Eraser and some people don't? And listen, here's the thing. I've been noticing that ever since I've been doing LG videos for a very long time. Some people in different regions, different carriers, look like they're getting different bills. I don't know why, but let me go to check my bill and let y'all guys see the bill here on this device. And my bill may be different from your bill. All right, so uh, let's see. The bill here, right, is going to be 1KQ122082902. So that's the bill that I have. And I have uh, my version, my LG V60. Again, the T-Mobile variant is going to be uh, V600 TM40A. So that's my version of the LG V60. So when I'm finding out that A, not everybody's getting Android 13, right? That's one thing. B, software is different. Well, as you guys know, uh, I got the problem with Wideband L3 on my device. Uh, and so right now, a lot of people have Wideband L1 on Android 13. My device, my build, I got an, uh, Wideband L3 on my device. Listen, so I don't know what's going on, why people have different builds, why it's inconsistency across the board with some of these LG devices. Uh, some people uh, that's on AT&T ready for the upgrade. A lot of people asking me questions in the comments. When the AT&T version is going to get Android 13? I don't know. A lot of people asking me when Verizon Wireless will get Android 13 on their V60s. I don't know. All I know is that T-Mobile has been the only carrier in the United States that's been upgrading and upgrading legacy devices. True and true. Can't say the same for AT&T. Now Verizon is all, has been very good at updates as far as legacy devices. Now T-Mobile has been A1 on top of it when it comes down to legacy devices. When you would get your update in different regions and different uh, parts of the world, I don't know. I don't have that answer. I know a lot of people leave me tons of comments asking me, a person that don't work for LG, these questions. At the end of the day, I don't know when you're going to get your update. Hopefully soon. All right. I'm going to continue to make videos and I'm going to continue to answer you guys questions about any LG devices here and there. So stay tuned and subscribe. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about Magic Eraser on the LG V60 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.